This is an audio introduction to a promotional video of Feathers, a dance piece choreographed and directed by Sandrine Monin. The promo lasts for about three minutes, and this introduction will take about three minutes to listen to. Feathers was created in collaboration with blind and visually impaired dancers, some of whom perform in the piece. The contemporary choreography looks at what it means to move through space with a visual impairment, playing with feelings of disconnection and their opposites the kind of things that can fix, connect and create anchors to the physical world. The video is made of footage from a live performance of Feathers and at times we see the stage from an audience member's perspective with the backs of viewers' heads silhouetted as they watch the dance. At other moments we're in close and intimate with the dancers. The dance takes place in a black-floored performance space, spotlit, so that the dancers are often performing in a puddle of light, surrounded by blackness. At other times, the lights are brighter, and we can see the curtains that edge the room. There are five dancers in total, all of whom present as female, and have various body types, ages and ethnicities. There's a dancer in her twenties with shaved black hair, another middle-aged with a wavy fringe, one in her twenties has sleek brown hair, a fourth is middle-aged with glasses and a curly mop and one, in her thirties, has shoulder-length dreadlocks. Some of the dancers are visually impaired and others aren't, but this isn't immediately apparent from watching the promo. Although one of the dancers wears glasses, all five move through the space without assistance or obvious aids. They're all barefoot, each wearing loose-fitting, uncoordinated pyjama style clothes in light tones of grey, blue and beige. On some of the dancers, it's possible to see small green pinpricks of light attached to their arms. These are coming from the ECHOM technology used in the piece, which creates sounds synced up with the dancers' movements. The video jumps abruptly from one passage of dance to another, so that the mood and the story shifts quickly, giving us a taste of the piece. The style of the dance is contemporary, and mixes everyday movements, running, walking, staggering, with more traditionally choreographed movements, like elegant swoops of the arm or legs balletically lifted. Sometimes the dancers move their fellow dancers' arms and legs like puppeteers. Early in the video, for example, one dancer propels another to sit on top of a third dancer who's on the floor on all fours acting as a chair. After this, the first dancer mimes handing the seated dancer various items, using her to demonstrate a morning routine. Often, the dancers hold small round LEDs in their palms so that it looks like their hands are filled with light. At other times, they arrange these lights on the ground and gather around them, transfixed by the white glow. The title appears white text against black. Feathers. Dancers, scattered, move each through their own everyday acts. The shaved-headed dancer raises her hand. Sometimes I go back to my childhood home. One dancer sits on another as a chair and the speaker hands her her morning routine. The sitter cups hands. Stop. Drinks. Oh. Lights glow in a triangle. And at the back of my mind, it's full of fear. The dancers gather moth-like. Full of anxiety, full of embarrassment. And there's no control. The wavy-haired dancer speaks. Well, very little. The other dancers take over her arms and move them through oceanic waves. She gives her whole weight backwards to a dancer on all fours, her chest arched to follow the shape of the woman's round spine, her arms heavy. Now the dancers whirl blustering blankets. They tug, squabbling over the fabrics. The sleek-haired woman staggers between slow-turning bodies. She hurls herself into a spin, falls, writhes, shoots fiercely from kneeling into a low squat. The dancer with dreadlocks is spotlit, alone. I can't see. She shifts sideways through a low bow and kicks high, swoops low. I can't see. She slumps forward, trying to fight gravity, paces around a slumped dancer. Who do you think 
Yes, you are. She nudges the slump dancer who collapses, gets up. You are weak. Undeserving. They tussle. The slumped dancer flops Ragdoll in the speaker's arm. They grab hands, end clasping onto each other. All five are clustered over a bed of lights, taking invisible items from the air around. They kick high kneed into the beat, pumping their light-filled hands, rave style. The wavy-haired woman makes wild windmills with her light-filled arms. On the floor around her, the others lie on their backs, legs lifting, arms drifting, ethereal in their own individual glowing. The credits roll. Director Sandrine Monin. Choreography Sandrine Monin in collaboration with the performers. Composer Roberto Di Rusconi. Performers Helen Davies, Maddie Irwin, Mayoa Ogunaike, Tammy Tsang, Sue Whitehouse. Supported using public funding by Arts Council England. Supported by Genesis Foundation, Kala Sangam, Yorkshire Dance and University of Leeds, along with other sponsors. Audio description was Timna Fiebert for Vocalise. The film ends.